most of us will never have the opportunity in our lives to realize that we live on a planet whose surface is moving. It's not moving very fast, it's moving about the speed at which your fingernails grow. But it is moving all the same. It's composed of several plates which move relative to one another, rub against each other, dive under each other, and move apart from one another. When they move apart, the Earth's surface, a bit like your skin, if you move your skin apart, you will bleed. The Earth also bleeds. We call that volcanism, then magma comes out of the Earth. And most of that magmatism, most of that volcanism, takes place on the seafloor. Most people wouldn't realize that, in fact, almost 90% of the volcanoes on our planet are found on the seafloor. It's my job to go and study those volcanoes, a fantastic job. I go to the places where the plates move apart and study what's going on down there. There are vast amounts of heat are released at the seafloor. That heat causes water to circulate, which dissolves metals, for example, out of the rocks and spews them out on the seafloor. This would be the hydrothermal circulation systems, the things called black smokers. We know lots about life on black smokers, very strange life that never sees the sun, uses the oxygen from photosynthesis on the Earth's surface, but otherwise uses volcanic energy to support life. And the amount of life down there is enormous. It's about the same as the amount of vegetation biomass in an Amazonian rainforest. All over the planet, plates are moving apart, forming a chain of volcanoes 60,000 kilometers long, which we call the mid-ocean ridges. They lie at a depth somewhere between zero meters, which would be the coast of Iceland. Iceland actually sits on that rip in the surface of the planet, down to up to 6,000 meters deep. I personally have been to see them at 3,500 meters deep, and diving to that depth of the oceans is fantastic. When these plates move apart, it's really quite a, a quiet process. There are no large earthquakes. It's just volcanism. It's just volcanic eruptions. We have actually never seen a volcanic eruption on the deep sea floor. They just happen so seldom and so few people get to go there that we just haven't been lucky up to now. Although whether that's really good luck or bad luck that we weren't there, I don't really know. Um, these plates that move apart, obviously the Earth is not getting any bigger with time. So if plates are moving apart, somewhere else they've got to collide. They do that in what we call the subduction zones. This is the area where mountain belts are formed. This is the area, for example, on our present day planet, which is around the Pacific. The Pacific is encircled by a ring of subduction zones where the Pacific Ocean floor dives down, for example, under North America, South America, or in the West Pacific under Japan, the Marianas, etc. When that seafloor goes down back into the ocean, it carries lots of water from the ocean that it was sitting underneath. When that water dives down into the, into the interior of the Earth, the warm interior of the Earth, it causes it to melt. And that's why we have volcanoes all around the Pacific. That melting is a bit like when you put water into sugar and cause it to dissolve. The same thing happens when you put water into the Earth's interior. It causes it to melt, causes volcanism. The water in those volcanoes, however, makes the magmas very, very explosive. They're almost steam-driven volcanoes. That's why we see huge eruptions, for example, in Indonesia, Philippines, but also North and South America. Very dangerous eruptions, eruptions which are responsible for killing quite a few people. There is magmatism then where the plates separate, where they go down into the Earth's interior. There's one other place on this planet under the water where volcanism occurs, and that's in things that we call hot spots. Now, they're not always underwater. You may have heard of the island of Hawaii, for example, a hotspot volcano in the middle of the ocean, far from anything else. We believe, and it's not known they start at 100 kilometers below the surface, we believe that there's a hot point, a hot spot under there that's burning its way through the Pacific Ocean, sitting on top. That creates a volcano. The volcano then moves with the plate. We remember they're traveling at fingernail speed. And in millions of years, that volcano moves away from the hotspot and another one is formed. It moves away and another one is formed. That's why, for example, if you go to the Hawaiian Islands, you will find not just one island, but several islands aligned in a chain. And that chain, although you can't see it from the surface, goes all the way to Alaska, for example. It covers uh, thousands of kilometers of the Pacific seafloor. That's our hidden planet. That's the planet working without us being able to see it. Unless you happen to be an Icelander, a Hawaiian, someone who lives on the Canary Islands, you will never see any of these effects. Nevertheless, our planet is moving, our planet is active, 
and my job is to go down to the seafloor and find out what's going on.